So we just arrived to Lake Como and oh my god, it is so unbelievably beautiful here. We're staying in Bellagio and our Airbnb is just so nice. It's the most luxurious house we've stayed in in Italy. Let me show you guys the crazy views. So this is our kitchen and our little dining area. And we have this beautiful window. Just look at this view. The sun is setting over there. You see the mountains. This is just like straight out of a movie scene. And to the side here, we get the view of some of the other houses. And then we have a nice big closet right next to the bathroom, which is huge. So we have a shower stand, toilet, sink, towel rack, and another big window here. I believe this is a church and you just get a nice neighborhood view. And we also have a little balcony. So this balcony connects the bathroom to the bedroom. The bedroom is so nice. So the sun already set and we have to go out to grab dinner. So we're just gonna quickly unpack a little bit and be out because I love this area already and I wanna explore. Also, it's a little bit chillier here. It's definitely feeling like fall. So I'm gonna throw on a jacket because it's gonna get even colder at night. just changed and came back out and my friends that just came back from Italy did tell me that this area has so many stairs and they were not wrong about that I'm gonna go to a nearby restaurant have some dinner and just have a chill night for our first day here Good morning, buongiorno. Oh my god, it's just so beautiful during the day. As you guys know, we arrived during sunset last night, which was absolutely beautiful, but it's just as nice during the daytime. You can see the mountains and the house so clearly, and the lake is just so blue. So beautiful, I can't believe it's real. So we just finished getting ready, and we're about to head out. We slept in a little bit, so we're actually gonna go grab lunch first. And then I think we might head on over to Verena. We have to take a ferry there, but it's only like a 30 to 40 minute ride. We're also planning on going to Menaggio. So all of these places are accessible by ferry from Bellagio. So we're just gonna visit all three, just tour around the different cities and just soak in all the beauty. really good and it was only a minute away from our Airbnb so I kind of want to go back there because some of the other dishes that other people ordered looked really good now we're just exploring the city center so many photo ops here and the views are crazy Very narrow 
roads here. I don't know how cars can drive through. So we are at the photo spot in Bellagio. This is where you see the whole street as well as a lake view and the mountains. It's called Via Giuseppe Garibaldi. And it looks just like the pictures. The street's like a little bit elevated so you get the whole view from up top. arrived in Varenna and it is so beautiful here. I think it has a different feel than Bellagio. Yep, definitely. It's a little bit more romantic. It feels a bit more romantic. Yeah, and right now we're walking through um, the tip of the city. It's right next to the lake and this is supposed to be like a very romantic walk here. All that I need is your body next to me. Just need your company, don't need too much Just your simple love and it's everything The simple joy of hearing your voice every morning I wake to a kiss on my face So I don't need too much Just your simple love and it's So we just came to visit the garden at Villa Monastero and you had an option to tour the whole villa or just the garden and we just chose the option to visit the garden because we still have to go to Menagio but it already looks so beautiful like, Look at this view Walking to the market, strolling hand in hand Exchanging letters when you're away Don't need any effort when we are together We always have fun throughout the day I'll do anything to get your attention When you say you love me I seem to ascend to the heavens above Where we fall We are at a bar right by the ferry station Because we're about to hop onto a ferry to Menagio I wonder what Menagio is going to be like Apparently less touristy so Bellagio was pretty touristy, um, but it was so beautiful. And then Verena is definitely more romantic, and I don't know, it has its own charm. Honestly, whichever city you go to, it's gonna be very beautiful either way because you just get like a lakefront view as well as the mountains, and you won't be able to get this anywhere. Even from the cafe we're at right now, this is our view. arrived to Menagio and it's definitely a different vibe here. Feels a little bit more local. It actually feels like a bigger city but yeah we see like supermarkets and furniture stores and a lot of cars with big roads. It's a little bit later in the afternoon and we want to try to catch the sunset on our way back to Bellagio so we're just gonna walk around here for a bit and then hop on the ferry back.
We literally came to the same restaurant we ate at for lunch because it was pretty good and there's not a lot of options around here. Oh yeah. It's very rich. Yeah, rich. Good morning everyone. I just finished getting ready and it is day three in Lake Como. Today's honestly just gonna be a chill day. We slept in again and it's already lunchtime, so we're just gonna grab a quick bite and I think we're just gonna explore the neighborhood a bit. Just walk around the city center and just visit some local shops. We have to check out very early in the morning tomorrow because we are headed to Milan. So we are gonna wake up super early, get ready, hop on the ferry, and then hop on the train. I think there's a person like directly across from me in the other house so it's a little bit awkward right now but yeah that's the plan today and i'm gonna get ready to head out got back to our airbnb and we just decided to have a light dinner today so this is what we will be having some prosciutto cheese wine strawberries and mozzarella cheers, cheers to our last night in Bellagio. Mm -hmm. Baby, just a kiss good night
of our Bellagio Hotel and we are waiting to board the ferry to go to Como and then from Como we would have to ride the train to Milan. It's good that we're starting the day earlier though because we have a full day in Milan today and tomorrow we're flying out back to New York City so I wanted to make the best out of the full day we have. arrived in Milan. We had to drop off our bags at the hotel and we came out to just grab some coffee at the cafe and here is the famous Milan Duomo. Milan airport is a little bit away from the city center so you would either have to get there by train or cab and we just decided to ride the train there because it's right by our hotel. So yesterday was a very hectic day in Milan because we only had yesterday to just shop and tour around. Honestly, the only sightseeing we did was go look at the Duomo because that's like the main thing we wanted to see. We shopped at the famous Vittorio Emanuele gallery and that gallery has a bunch of different shops as well as restaurants and it's just so beautiful. But yeah, we did some damage and I ended up buying a couple of pieces. Before I head to the airport, I wanted to say thank you guys for watching this series. This will be the final episode of my Italy travel vlog. I hope you guys stay tuned for my future videos and vlogs back in New York City. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye!